So guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the 90 rated Sebastian Giovinco team of the season card and wow, does this card look good. And this is one of the cards that a lot of you were requesting me to try. So before we get into things, you guys know the drill by now. If you could leave a like on the video, that would be muchly appreciated. And also drop a comment both letting me know your thoughts on this card and also letting me know which other team of the season cards you want me to try out. Right then, let's move on quickly and let's chat about the in-game attributes of this card because they look amazing. Like, look at that. Nearly every technical stat, in fact, every technical stat but one is dark green. That is mad. This Giovinco card scored plenty of goals for me and you can see why with those shooting attributes. 94 finishing, 89 shot power, 92 long shots and on top of that he's also got 95 curve and 94 composure which of course aids his shooting ability. Passing wise he's looking pretty good. 88 short passing is decent and 83 long passing and 80 crossing don't look too bad either. Dribbling wise there are some top class stats 98 agility 99 balance 93 ball control and 91 in-game dribbling some awesome stats there and finally physically we can see he's got good stamina of 90 which is obviously pleasing but what's not so pleasing is you know that instantly spottable negative about this card which is of course that 49 strength and we will talk about that more later in the video anyway stats aside how did this card perform in game to be honest with you he was amazing he is a goal scorer and straight off the bat what i'll say is if you can handle the lack of strength and use this guy to the best of his abilities you will love this card let's begin with his pace because he is rapid and with him having such high acceleration he does hit his top speed very quickly his sprint speed is actually just 83 which actually seems kind of low in game he felt faster than that on the ball he's amazing he's quick agile and he's got great feet occasionally when under pressure he can take a dodgy touch but for most part when in possession he is top class and he is so easy to maneuver one thing I really liked about this guy was his off the ball movement, he was constantly making surging runs through defences and with him being so quick and nimble, once this guy broke through that defensive line, he was never really stopped. When it comes to shooting, you've, well, you can see in the background, he scores for fun. This guy can pretty much score any kind of goal, maybe apart from headers, but um, he's finishing inside the box, excellent, the long shots are great, the general power shots are very effective and his finesse shots are top class. This guy is a goal scorer. Passing wise I have to say I found his crossing to be actually incredibly underwhelming. His crossing was so inconsistent for me but aside from that the short pass and the link up play was excellent. Physically as you'd expect from just looking at the stats he is incredibly weak and he will occasionally win battles against fullbacks but against pretty much any centre back, any defensive player with more than 75 strength, Giovinco is going to struggle and against the elite centre backs they are going to bully this card so you need to avoid defenders as much as you can. With this guy being 5'5 five five and having 41 jumping he isn't going to challenge much aerially either. If you do pick this card up use him as a striker or a centre forward. I really don't advise him as a cam because he can't battle and if you come up against a semi decent player with a strong midfield Giovinco is just going to get bullied for most of the game. Nevertheless, if you play to this guy's strength, you'll love him. He's class and in some games, he just can't be stopped. And better players than I will have an absolute field day with this card. Team of the season Giovinco is an ideal super sub to bring on to run at tired defences. So, is he worth the coins? Well, considering he's under 200k, yeah, I do think he's worth the coins. He is effective and he does score goals for fun. I can understand though why some people won't like this card because his strength really is awful but like I've said numerous times if you can avoid defenders if you control the ball well and dribble well in FIFA you will really enjoy this card. Technically it is awesome like the technical attributes on this card are fantastic. Anyway guys those are my thoughts on team of the season Giovinco I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please remember to leave a like on it comment below if you've tried this card let me know how you got on with him and also leave a comment let me know which other team of the season cards I should pick up. Thanks for watching guys and as always I'll catch you in the next one.